The first Battle of Judeca waged on along the Rubrum-Concordia border. Rubrum forces maintained the advantage with valiant efforts from its cadet forces. Meanwhile, Rubrum's second force, deployed to the Militesi border, was failing to hold back the Imperial forces which greatly outnumbered them. The Dominion's ground troops are still retreating. Our warships are hardly damaged. Our foot soldiers are moving forward. And the Concordian front? Rubrum is putting up a good fight. They've not made any headway. The Concordian army is weaker than I thought. I had slightly higher expectations of them. Inform me of any changes at once. Sir! On this front, however, the Dominion is far too weak. Furthermore, this 108th Brigade, organized under Marshal Sid's command, includes many former Imperial officers. It can't be a coincidence. That being the case, this battle will not aid me in my goal to climb up the ranks. All right, go, sir. sir. Hmm? Is that the new Lassie? He suddenly came out of nowhere. Where was he hiding? Is something wrong? No. Are you bothered by it? Not really. seen a summoner superior to Lady Setna. Watch carefully. The time has come upon us. A query for you. Do you, above all else, swear fealty to the Vermilion Bird Crystal and obey its will? Absolutely. All defenders of the Vermilion Bird standing on this battlefield sworn that oath. Very well. Then, let us now proceed with reverence. Send your magic energy to Lady Setsna! Freed of the wedge, the gears start to turn. One by one by one. Concentrate! Bearing the chains, forged by my axe, buried beneath the formless howl. General, I'm picking up enormous magic readings in the Dominion camp. I'm aware of it. The Lassie is about to attack! The magic will rattle the atmosphere, but if we withstand this, the way will be open! Unit 9, Unit 11, move to the rear. All other units forward! Let's see. You stay with me until it's over. Sure. 
Now then, what reprisal will be imposed upon us this time? Lady Setsna! Crystal! Guide! The Dominion! May I emerge in the heavens, sounding the cry of eternal torment. The magic unleashed into the sky formed a massive portal blanketing the Imperial force. Alexander was summoned through the glorification of thousands of cadets, commandants, and soldiers. <laughs> Alexander's divine light decimated the Militesi border fortress and its environs. Not only did the Divine Light attack leave the 106th and 107th Imperial Brigades invading Rubrum in tatters, it also devastated the 3rd Brigade, deployed to the rear of the border fortress. Only hours after crossing over Rubrum's border, the Imperial troops that yet survived fled back across the border into Militess. There's nobody left alive. How unbelievable. So I am to survive after this vast reprisal? But this defeat is too great to overcome. I see. So this is divine will. After a life of eons, it is finally over. I can at last see my destiny. I feel so, so cold.
The Militesi force crumbled before Alexander, the Eidolans summoned by the Lassi Setsna, and began withdrawing troops from the border. Upon hearing the news, the Concordian forces in the east began falling back. Victory belonged to Rubrum on this day.